Hello friends, this is Arun and uh, welcome in my channel of uh, Lightroom Photoshop and Photography. Uh, I have started a series that uh, that is about uh, soft light. Uh, this is the second part of my uh, this tutorial and uh, I have the another image and uh, I have already told you that every image has its own tonal contrast, lighting and uh, exposure. So this type of effect is uh, very uh, specific so it requires a very special image that uh, I have already told you it requires a low contrast photographs and a lot of light requires so I will start uh, to edit this image by applying this mm, curves starting from contrast I want low contrast for this image so then uh, curves I'll go to curves then uh, blue shade blue shade uh, little bit of yellow I will uh, most of the buttons are here as you can see the histogram in the curves this is uh, the histogram uh, you are seeing uh, I will boost the yellow part in the midtones. Now I will go to gradient. I want uh, my own gradient setting. So firstly, I will set the blending mode to soft light. Then I will reduce the opacity. Then uh, this is uh, more yellow. I want. Uh, desaturated yellow I think this is good uh, all these are in that you are seeing on your screen that uh, all these are free and uh, default um, green maps with the Photoshop I want uh, more uh, cyan I'm trying which uh, ever is the best uh, setting for this particular image. So this is before this after, and uh, I will uh, duplicate this layer by uh, by applying Control J on the keyboard, then uh, blending mode set to screen. Then now uh, I will reduce the opacity for this. I will boost uh, this uh, blue shade in the curves. Uh, the benefit of applying uh, adjustment layers is to you can change it anytime uh, rather than to apply directly on the image by going to here and. Uh, adjustment so this is the biggest benefit of adjustment layer most of the uh, most of the um, professional uh, photoshop they are used uh, adjustment layer rather than to apply direct on the image so now i have uh, changed the blending mode of this uh, grand map to the hard light I think hard light is working better and this is with the soft light and uh, this is with hard light and uh, I think uh, I got the result and finally uh, then I have to, uh, already told you I always use color map in the last of uh, every setting I want more cyan more uh, magenta type I am in the midtone and uh, I will go to shadow highlights. Uh, on the internet, there are so many tutorials on this, uh, and uh, uh, so many PSGs are available. Uh, 
they only work on the specific image that uh, I told you. Now I will merge all these layer and uh, it requires on you that if you want merging of this layer, I will show you before and after. Uh, this is the original image that I have taken and uh, this is the effect you can see a beautiful four blue shade, magenta shade uh, all around the image. Uh, so it is a very beautiful